Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited today to unveil a new bike that I just got. So I actually received this from Hemiway. They asked if I would be interested in reviewing one of their electric all-terrain fat tire bikes. So I've only ever ridden one other e-bike and that was about three years ago and e-bikes have come such a long, long way since then. There's so many different reasons why one might want an e-bike now, you know, if it's, you know, you're coming back from an injury from, you just don't have the time to dedicate to have that certain level of fitness, you know, that you need with mountain biking or you have, you know, a medical condition. There's so many different reasons why you might want an e-bike. And for me, I feel like why I would want one is just to have as a recovery bike. After a long, long weekend of riding, I'm able to kind of take a day off. I'm still able to get out there and be riding, but my legs are not being fried. The main biggest reason why I'm so, so incredibly excited for this bike is honestly getting my friends and my family out in the trails with me, and especially for my dad. My mom mountain bikes with me all the time and she has fallen in love with the sport. And my dad, he just, hasn't gotten there at all and you know he doesn't have the cardio for it he has you know some knee injuries and things like that so riding a mountain bike for him is just kind of discouraging which I completely understand so I that's the one thing I'm really excited for is just getting my dad out there with me more and be able to share that experience with him and you know share my passion and what I love and you know get to do with my dad I get into this so I have to talk about the price point because this is the one thing that just kind of blew me away there's so many e-bikes on the market now and most of them are so so expensive you know thousands and thousands of dollars so this one is sixteen hundred dollars which at sixteen hundred dollars the value you get with this bike it just kind of blew my mind this is such a solid bike really put this bike through the rankings I have taken it out on single track trails here in the mountains I have really pushed it to see okay so really is this bike truly a trail bike like it says it is it's taken a beating so I've been really really impressed with it also let's talk about range because this is such an important factor and something that I know a lot of people want to know when purchasing an e-bike so for this one specifically Hemiway says the range is about 30 to 60 miles and of course this all factors into how hard you're riding the bike and it has five different levels one being you know just a little bit of pedal assist with it um, and five of course being just maximum power that it's outputting so for this video I have been riding this bike at a five just to kind of see what happens if I really just push this bike how it performs what kind of mileage am I getting on a charge and I found doing this and riding steepish technical trails it's right at 30 miles that I'm getting honestly though I am I've ridden this thing through the rain the other weekend I got caught in a thunderstorm it wasn't supposed to rain but the mountains have its own its own forecast it can handle water i don't know if i would submerge it completely but who knows maybe you can't i haven't done it personally but maybe you can't i don't know so top speed on this is also 23 miles an hour which is pretty good so you have on this one i believe it's considered a class 2 e-bike correct me if i'm wrong guys um because it does have pedal assist and it also has a throttle the tools that it comes with i was so impressed because it came with a multi-tool it had everything on the multi-tool that you would need to put this bike together which i was like yes Hemiway yes this is awesome because usually of course you don't get a multi-tool to put a bike together and granted most of this bike was already put together the fenders and things like that were not put together you just have to put on handlebars pedals you know the things like that so yeah let's go ahead and get into some of the specs for gearing this is running a Shimano 1x7 14 to 28 tooth Hopefully I'll get some snow riding in this winter with this being a fat tire bike also. The fork is an unbranded 80 millimeter coil spring with a hydraulic lockout. This is also running 180 millimeter disc brakes, which are mechanical. The hub motor is a 750 watt brushless gear motor with a capacity of 350 pounds. 
For the battery, you have a 48 volt Samsung LG lithium battery. Seriously guys, I almost cleaned this bike for this video, but then I thought that's so inauthentic. Why would I clean a bike when it's meant to be dirty and ridden? So this is it just in all its glory, its natural state. <laughs> we also cannot forget about the bell. All right, so I'm taking the e-bike out right now and it's been really rainy and I just can't take it on any good single tracks right now um, just because there's just been too much rain. So don't want to ruin the trail. So right now I am on a HOV. Well, it's going to connect into an HOV trail. So I thought that would probably be the best type of terrain to ride today to kind of show you guys how capable this bike is and everything like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, hopefully. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear me with this mic. The mic on this GoPro is atrocious. It sucks. So I apologize if you guys can't hear me that well. I'm just screaming for like... We got some mud, 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 mud. I'm gonna get this bike nice and muddy. Good little sections right there to use the throttle. Ah, uh, so muddy. So I have this on five, which is the max, just max power, just to kind of show you guys where the battery life will be and everything by the time we finish this trail. So many muddy sections. So this is about a 12 mile round trip that I'm doing. So it'll be good to kind of show you guys where the battery life is and everything um, by the end of it. Here's a little incline. I mean, this thing just tears up inclines. It's insane. Is another incline up through here, so let's see what this. Ooh, that right. Max, I'm just using the throttle to get up here. Not a problem. So of course it's not gonna go like 20 something miles an hour going up an incline if it's steep steep. It usually, I think the most I've gone is like 12 miles an hour it drops down to. But still, that's really good. The last e-bike I rode was not powerful whatsoever. So it's just crazy the amount of power this thing has. Not to mention the price point for this. It's really solid what you get. And this is why I am not on regular trails today. It's just, we've gotten so much rain. I always see a lot of people riding over here when we have rain. <laughs> I think everyone has the same idea. Which is good. I think what I'm most excited, which I've mentioned before, is really just having whoever go riding with me now. Just they're able to which is exciting because I know there's just so many people that you know not everyone can keep up with the cardio and maintain it so this is just really cool to have friends family whoever go with me mountain biking now and have a blast without having to stay on top of their cardio I don't know if you guys can tell but for a gravel road this is this is pretty rough <laughs> I haven't dropped a chain though once on this, which I'm surprised. But 
you know, it's probably because this is a single chain ring still at the same time, which is awesome. I just, I think you get so much bang for your buck with this bike. It's crazy. Oh my God. Wow. Well. Well. There we go, guys. <laughs> I was like, I'm not, I don't want to get that muddy. Oh, man. That was rutted. That sucks. Well, there you go. That's another test to show you guys how durable this is. You can get it wet. I've ridden it in the rain before. I was on a trail and I got caught in a thunderstorm which sucked. I've never been caught in a storm riding before, surprisingly. So that was a first. I'm not afraid to go through these. It's so rutted. You have big jeeps and stuff going through here. This is a pretty good little incline right here. I'm gonna use a throttle right here. So we're going nine miles an hour right here. And this is a pretty good little steep section. Going 11. Not bad. Not bad at all. But one thing that took me a second to get used to was the throttle turning on and off because there's like a three second or two second delay. Oh my god, we are flying through here. This is a hill right here. Using the throttle. Right here. Like I mentioned guys, if I'm really trying to ride this and benefit. I probably wouldn't be using the throttle as much, but for purposes to show you guys battery life and what it can do, just kind of maximizing the power and everything. I have it turned all the way up. All right, so this starts getting a little rougher. crazy thing is I haven't ridden a hard tail before. Alright, so we're gonna see how fast it'll go right here. there too because if maybe your footing's not the best in this spot, like if you're in a tricky, tricky spot, it's nice just to pull back on that. All right, so we just got to the end. This thing is a beast. I honestly, I had no idea what to expect with this thing, but it is, yeah, miles. I, I don't even know from the last e-bike that I rode. It's incredible. So just the power and how capable it is. It's really awesome. You know, and two, you know, if you wanted to make this more like trail worthy, you can, you know, you could take off all the stuff, the fenders and things like that. So you have less stuff on the bike, but you know, it's really, it's cool because it could be a cruiser to get you from point A to point B, or, you know, it could be a light trail bike. So it's really neat. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have an e-bike down below and why you have an e-bike, what's your reasoning behind an e-bike. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,